Hi, it's Przemek here, and today I'm super excited to show you the new functionality we are currently working on that will enable you to streamline the grid exchange between various devices. So, here I've got the uh, desktop app running on my Mac and uh, on the iPad, right? Both connected to the same Meta server and instance. Now, um, Instead of importing and ex exporting the grid that I'm working on, I would, as a user, I would rather like to have a swift exchange or sync uh, functionality that will enable me to tap a button and to send a particular grid I'm working on uh, to another instance of MetaGrid Pro connected to the same Meta server. So um, to, we implemented this functionality uh, and uh, first let's start with the controller ID uh, parameter. Uh, each MetaGrid instance uh, will have uh, in the setting there is the controller ID um, the parameter. So you are able to edit it and to give a distinct unique name, unique name for each uh, MetaGrid uh, connected to the same meta server. So I've got, as you could see, I've got um, MGP1 for my, for my iPad, and for my uh, desktop application, I've got Mac Editor, right? And these are IDs that it will be used for meta server to recognize other devices connected uh, to, uh, to itself, right? And um, so, Let's go to the grid sync functionality. On the desktop app, I've got the uh, sync grid command and with uh, shift S uh, keyboard shortcut. And also this functionality is accessible through the grid selector. There is the sync button over here that enables you to sync the grid between the connected uh, MetaGrid Pro instances. So as I said, I've got two um, MetaGrid Pro running connected to the same Meta server. So I uh, click the sync button and I've got this pop-up saying would you like to sync Xcode Dracula grid with mpg1 mpg1 it's my uh, it's the identifier of uh, my MetaGrid Pro running on my iPad so I say yes okay you can see a spinner and now my MetaGrid Pro on Mac re uh, on iPad reacts accordingly so I've got the pop-up saying MetaGrid Pro wants to sync the Expo Xcode Dracula grid on this device a grid with the same name already exists in the active workspace under the Xcode profile. Override it. So as you can see, a MetaGrid on my iPad, even though it was previously displaying the uh, profile for MetaGrid Pro, switched to the Xcode profile, displayed the alert, and as you can see, uh, both grids differ. So basically, uh, here I've got the big uh, pink button, and here I've got the blue button, a um, bit smaller, right? So I tap over right, and here we are. Now the grids are perfectly in sync. Now, uh, I want to modify it, so I'm going to change the background to uh, yellow and I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, all right, so let me, uh, and I'm going to move it to the um, uh, new position. So I click done and now I tap of, and display the um, grid selector and tap the grid sync. And again, I've got the same pop ups. So would you like to sync the Xcode um, grid with Mac Editor? So that's the ID for the um, MetaGrid Pro running on my Mac. And I tap yes. And my MetaGrid on my Mac reacts uh, saying that, yeah, there is, the grid is present. Would you like to overwrite it? Overwrite it. And here I am. So now grids are in sync. So as you can see, you can uh, exchange sync the grids between various instances. And of course, it will work also if you've got two iPads running uh, and connected to the same meta server, right? I am super excited about this functionality and I hope that you will love it and it will make uh, grid creating and uh, exchanging much, much uh, more streamlined and easier. Thanks for watching, and uh, as I said, this, this functionality is going to be implemented uh, in uh, 1.6.3 that will go into production soon. Thanks for watching once more. Bye.